Welcome everybody, I'm Alfonso De Rose and today I'd like to talk to you about one of the programs that we do at De Rose International and uh, it's Tina Journey. It's a, a simple way, a beautiful way, an empowering way to release weight, to, uh, to find the body of your dreams. Uh, to go to the store, buy your favorite jeans and wear them with no problem, with no issues. There are so many diets, there are many solutions out there. Tina Journey is a three days intense uh, events where you learn how to release the weight, not by deprivation, not by suppression, not in the old diet ways, but in a new way, in a way that uh, it creates communion with food. It teaches you how to achieve the maximum pleasure in your life. It teaches you how to look inside and notice the difference between the inner world and the outer world because the fat is always a message of what's going on inside ourselves. It teaches you how to take responsibility in your life. It teaches you how to release the weight without dieting, without mental programming or counting calories, points or anything like that make love with food and have a transformation and become naturally a thin person basically receiving all these tools the thin people they use without thinking about it i'm going to give you one very simple um, someone that is so-called thin people uh, when they get upset they don't eat someone that is overweight when they get stressed out or they're upset they eat so at the journey we learn how to behave with emotions, on the dining table, understanding ourselves, our loved ones, empowering our life, and to release weight. It's a three days intense event. Uh, we have people that lost weight from the last 10 pounds that they couldn't release from 150 to 100 pounds. It's for everybody. The youngest participant was, uh, I think, was 16 or 17 years old, and the old, oldest one was 85 everybody can release the weight. That's one thing I learned. Everybody can release the weight. I will see you soon. Have a blessed day. Welcome everybody. So we're here to really understand and uh, destroy this big uh, uh, world issues of gaining weight. There is a way out. We're here with Soleil today. That she participated to Tina Journey uh, what was it, two years ago that you came to Tina Journey? Yes, July. Um, so what, what do you think it was the most uh, uh, dramatic change? Because I know that you, you tried many diet, you tried everything for how long? Um, pretty much all of my life I've been on some kind of diet, whether it was, you know, most of the mainstream diets or some other strange things that I've tried in the past. But uh, Tina Journey for me has been the one that has been the most successful. Now, how much weight did you lose? I've released um, 80 pounds, I think I lost around 55 pounds in the first year and uh, I'm still on the journey, still releasing, but maintaining that 80 pound weight loss for two years is, is quite a, an achievement. And so what would you say that is the most, uh, the most provocative change that you had? What was it that really started the weight loss that it didn't happen before? I think letting go of that fear fear around food, um, always having those like calorie counting, you can't eat carbs, you can't have bread, uh, just being able to eat anything I wanted, not having any deprivation, um, that, was, that was the most significant thing. Yes, in fact, uh, uh, in Tina Journey, what we teach in Tina Journey is uh, to make love with food and we take away this idea of uh, diets, um, calories, eat this or eat that, but really create a new communion with food. Um, did, you, did you find your life changing as a result of Tina Journey? Um, it was just the weight loss or what other changes did you have in your life? Oh, my life has changed dramatically in the last two years. I've gone from wearing nothing but dark clothes and hiding, not wanting to be seen to uh, really embracing every single day, you know, dancing, singing, being out there with friends, not turning down party invitations, um, changing career, changing relationships, and just really living life to the full. Yeah, because I remember uh, the first time that you came, you were very 
quiet, uh, uh, you were very like into yourself and you weren't very as expressive as I really know now because uh, when I met you you were completely different you were pretty quiet sitting there and now I see your personality exploding uh, with love with uh, uh, new artistic qualities and a lot of changes and transformation so would you say that the, the fat was uh, really um, a, a reflection of something that needed to happen inside yourself yeah, most definitely the fat was a protection. Mm -hmm. It was protecting me from being seen. Um, I felt that if I not been aware that I was doing it, but when I had the weight and the dark clothes, I could hide. Yeah. And losing the weight and um, just really embracing uh, the creative side of myself mm -hmm. um, has just been a phenomenal change. Interesting. I, I'm going to ask you some uh, um, a little hard questions, okay? Sure. So, I'm, I'm just wondering, um, it, because one thing that I, I notice in the weight loss journey, there is a connotation between um, weight loss and sexuality. Um, do you want to talk about that? I mean, do you see any difference maybe in your uh, expressing your femininity or the way that you were before in, in comparison did you gain any insight about that throughout this journey? I was most definitely in more of a masculine role back then um, at the beginning um, I, I wore black, I wore pants, I worked in a management position um, in my relationship at that time I, I felt very much like I had to be the man and within a journey, um, I got to learn that I am a flower and that I do need to shine and wear color and that it is okay to be seen and to be admired. And uh, yes, most definitely feel much more feminine. Yeah, you're definitely a flower and I am very proud of your changes and transformation. Um, there is any advice that you would uh, want to give to our listeners about uh, weight loss or how to do it or when to do it uh, um, something that you would like to say to our audience well I think the the thing for me is to um, what I found was you, you'll only start it when you're ready mm. uh, you get to that place where you just don't want to go on living your life the way that you were at and when you get to that point I highly recommend within a journey um, it isn't an easy journey, it's, it's, a, it's a journey of really going within and finding out what makes you tick, but it's so worth it. So I think my advice would be get to that place where you're ready and just jump, just do it. And for these people that uh, they, are, they think that uh, they can do it uh, or uh, they feel that they're not ready, what, what, what could you say to them to really say, hey, jump? Uh, you can do it, but there is any suggestion that you can say since I know that you can know yourself. Yeah, I think, you know, I always thought that it wouldn't work for me, that, you know, I was genetically built that way, um, that, um, you know, I tried so many diets, nothing could work, that I was that one person that it was nothing was going to work for. And I've obviously been proved very wrong in that department. Um, so I think to, to, to just trust, to just trust that it will work for you. Yeah, in fact, uh, um, most of the time, um, the weight um, is not going down because there are certain ideas that we have, certain thoughts that we learned from the society that they are completely false. Um, like for example, you said that you thought that uh, it was your genetic that you you were set like that. It was in, impossible. Everybody can lose the weight. So, Leo, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, I'm very proud of you. And let's keep moving forward. Thank you. Thank you.